Okay, so what we need to do now in order to deploy our previously created uh, artifact from our build pipeline, uh, we, in order to deploy it, we would need to uh, have a certain resources. So we will just go ahead to Azure portal and we're going to create a new resource, which is going to be called app service. So let me just uh, write here app service. Uh, app service plans. Okay, yeah, this is completely fine. And let's click a create button. So just give it a second. It asks us for the subscription. So we have only one subscription. So this is quite straightforward. And then the resource group, we're just going to create a new one. And we're going to call this one MVC demo, something like this. Um, and uh, we're going to choose operating system. I really uh, got used to Windows, although this is uh, um, this is not infrastructure as a service. So this is uh, this we will not have much of a control here. Uh, I have uh, West Europe. I'm living there, so it makes sense that the region is quite close to me. And I want to name uh, the plan itself, and I'm going to call it. Um, test app plan something like this i don't know i don't have anything smarter and uh, sku and size is going to be free one so we're not going to pay anything for this tags i'm not going to add any tag next would be to review and create so i'm just going to do that click the create button and uh, the deployment is going to start so you maybe have noticed that those resources are quite modest. So there is nothing drastic about it. There's nothing crazy, but it's free. So that's, that's really good. Okay. So resources have been created and here's our uh, test app plan. And if we just go ahead and click on apps, you will see that we don't have anything here. So we go again here on the search bar and we, uh, we type app services, which is this one and we click create. Now, again, we're choosing this, the resource group that we created previously, and now we can actually choose the name of our uh, application. And we're going to call this MVC demo uh, TST1, something like this, I don't know. Yeah, it, it does work, perfect. Um, so runtime stack is in our case .NET 5. It's going to run on a Windows. Uh, just give it a second until it makes his mind about the region. Uh, so we're going to use uh, West Europe. Great. And we already have the test up plan we created previously. So we can go to the deployment, uh, continuous deployment. I'm just going to disable it here. Don't, 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 get, don't get confused with this. We will be able to deploy automatically uh, monitoring it will ask us do we want to have application insights i'm just going to say no here well thinking thinking no i will i will not have the application insights this this would actually i would leave for a next stage uh, tags skip it as well review and create okay let's say we're happy we click create button and let's just give it a second or maybe a few seconds, might take some time until it finishes all this. We can navigate a bit and, you know, explore the options that we have. And uh, we have, uh, you see that the app service plan is already registering our application, which is MVC demo TST1. And uh, we just had a message that deployment has been successful uh, for our resource which is quite good news because right now we can go ahead and create our release pipelines. So how do we create a release pipelines? We switch back to our DevOps, we click the release uh, option on the left menu side. Then we click a new pipeline and we have wizard options to create, to, to select certain template, but we don't care. We just go ahead and we go with the empty job because we want to really understand what's happening. So first thing is I would like to add an artifact. So what is an artifact? Artifact in this, in our case, would be the, the result 
the, uh, of the build pipeline. So that zip file, which we um, generated by publishing the web application. So we will just choose the build, which is MVC build pack. And it already recognized that we have uh, certain things, uh, the source alias, the default version, which we want to use, etc. So I'm just going to click here add. Additional thing that I want to do is you see here uh, the trigger. I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to enable continuous deployment trigger. So now I'm just, let me just close this one and let me go to stage. So what is this going to do? Every time when the build with this artifact has finished his work, this release pipeline is going to be triggered. So this is exactly what we want to do. So I have the stage one, let me just call this one dev and I'm going to click on the jobs here and uh, yeah, I have everything that I, that I want here except I really hate to have this uh, configuration of this agent pool so I would like to use my local container and I have the artifact download, everything is here, perfect. So what I want to do now is I will just click on this plus button and I'm going to call say app service uh, Azure App Service Deploy, exactly what I need, perfect. Clicking the button, choosing this option, and then again, I have a beautiful, shiny uh, form where I can uh, choose all the options to deploy my application. So I'm going to choose the, the subscription, which we have previously created using service connections. Um, I'm going to choose the app service name, so it's going to be called MVC Demo TST1. And uh, I can actually browse here my artifact storage and I can use the zip file, which we have previously created uh, to deploy it to the uh, MVC demo TST1 application, which is this one. But just first go to this application and I would like to browse it. So let me just go to this URL quickly and let's see. Is it working as expected? Yes. So Microsoft actually has its template for this one, so it works completely fine. Good. But this is actually everything what we need for our application, for the deployment of our application. So we have uh, the zip file, which we really want to deploy. We don't have any configurations or any transformations or anything like this. So really everything that we need is already here. The only thing what I would like to do is I would like to uh, change the name of this pipeline. I will say, deploy um, MVC app, that's it. Now, just to explain one more thing, what I can do as well here is I can use the same release pipeline to have a different stages. So I can clone this stage and I can uh, change the trigger to manual only and I can put here something which is called test, let's say. And in a test environment, I can actually have obviously different connections to a different resource group or to different subscription, which is going to point to different application, which is going to be a completely different stage. So this one, the dev is going to be automatically deployment de deployed. And if I want to deploy a test, I have to trigger it manually. And then I can play around a bit with the, with the permissions there as well, so that not everyone can deploy and test, but essentially the same artifact can be deployed uh, at the multiple stages at a certain time. So this is quite, quite cool. I don't have a test at the moment, so I'll just delete this one, confirm, and I want to save this uh, pipeline. I also want to show you how this automatic trigger works. So I will go now to the pipelines. I will click on MVC build pack and I'm going to click run pipeline again and click run button. So this should hopefully start in no time. Okay, starting and let's see how will this be processed. To be honest, I'm expecting everything to be quite green. I'm always kind of nervous with the build pipelines, but is if one uh, runs as expected, then all of them should run as well. And you just saw that uh, release 11 has successfully uh, been created uh, in our release window. And uh, I can even click logs here and see how our job is being initialized, 
how the, the release is actually download the artifact and uh, he's now trying to uh, update the application service he got the service connection details and now he's trying to update the app service itself and uh, as soon as the step is over um, we'll be able to browse our new application but this step could potentially take a bit of a time let's just give it a second okay successfully deployed web package to app service uh okay run from package mix blah blah, blah. okay that's perfect everything what we need maybe he has some post activities as well that he's executing right now just give it a few more seconds should be done very soon I'm a bit nervous let's just try let me just try to open this application now in another tab so this is how it was before and this is how it is now so this is the application exactly the one which we created before which means our, re our release has successfully been executed and you see the benefit of it there is nothing manual there is no copy pasting of the files there is absolutely nothing um, you can do whatever you want you can create uh, certain stages you can even afterwards transform the configuration files uh, deploy additional resources so it's quite it's quite nice way to to manage all this but yeah i think you should be able to deploy your basic applications uh, right now and uh, i will you know try to keep up with the, with the next videos and hopefully add a bit more content to the ci cd processes so thank you very much